Hello, my name is Libby and I am one of the proprietors of Asher Second Hand, which is an eBay store where we find wonderful secondhand purses and we fix them up so that they're as close to new as possible. Here is a Love Them On Sack original. It's a glossy leather, so it's not gonna absorb a lot of the liquid. I'm gonna take my baby wipe again. I use saddle soap for for any leather that's gonna uh, absorb any of the any of the liquid um, because you want to give it a good finish. Because this already has such a good finish on it, um, I'm not worried yet about really getting into conditioning the leather or anything like that. I'm just wiping down because the last thing we want to do when we're polishing is cover up something we could have gotten off beforehand. So get in any of that. Don't neglect the handles. I have a vintage train case that I have full of polishes. Um, I also keep a small piece of leather sample with all of the different colors that I have and different colors that I've combined to so I can find the, the most closely matching one and sometimes I'll mix them as well. But in this case, we are just looking for black. So take a soft cloth of any kind, a uh, polishing cloth, doesn't matter too much, but just a, a soft cloth. And just dab a little bit on there. Start with a little bit, you can always work your way up to more as you need it, but if you have a lot, you're gonna wind up putting the clothes, you're gonna wind up putting the hands, you're gonna get it on stuff and on your other bags as well. You don't want that. So look kind of at the edges first. Because that's where the main part of the scuffing is going to be. It's going to be in little areas like this. Where you see just a tiny little bit of the color loss right there. So we're going to start on that so that we can get that going. And get that nicely polished up. So and then I'm just going to start doing a general thing. Watch out for the hardware as much as you can. Uh, a lot of times you can wipe it off afterwards. But if part of the, the bag is cloth or something like that you're not going to be able to do as much with uh, being just being careful. Also, look for any contrast stitching, because if you have contrast stitching, you're going to want to be really careful of that. Otherwise, you're going to wind up with it um, not being so contrasting anymore. Don't worry if it's not absorbed quite all the way or if it's showing a little bit of a mat or you can see the, the individual brush marks in it or finger marks in it as the case may be because you're going to get that all polished out afterwards because you don't want there to be a lot of extra polish on your on your purse because otherwise it's going to get on your coat, it's going to get on your clothes, it's going to get on all your stuff and that's not nearly as what you want. Sometimes I'll do just a spot job. Um, just a little like, especially if there are other colors or contrast stitching or something, I'll just, you know, do the very edges or something like that, but use your own judgment and really decide, um, how much, how thorough you need to be with, uh, how much polish it's going to need. With the straps, especially you want to look and see if it's really worth the time because the straps, not only are they going to be rubbing up against your clothes, they're actually going to be where the weight is sitting on your shoulder. So you don't want to polish them unless you have to. And if you do have to, make sure you wipe it all off and make sure that it's it's gone. If you, if you did want to polish the straps, this one doesn't really need it as much, but just don't add extra. Just use kind of what's already on your cloth. And then I just like to kind of put it against my hand and just run it up and down. And paying attention to the sides. A lot of times, you'll get little bits on the sides where it's like uh, chewing the leather through or something like that. And you wanna um, get that covered up. Sometimes, honestly, a black marker, especially for black bags, works great. as a little long lasting. And I also have edge dressing, real edge dressing too, but yeah, that's a little bit more, a little bit more complicated. So. So, we've got the bag evenly covered in the polish. You can use a separate cloth or a lot of times I'll just fold my cloth so the polishy part is on the inside now. And just start buffing that in. Uh, some polishes you're going to want to wait and give it some time for it to sink in but uh, usually the, the I use two creams 
usually don't have to wait so long with those. So then you just start giving it a good shine. And you can see already just the more of the gloss, it just, it just gets a little bit shinier and more than this, and then you just keep going. Now, you're not just shining it, you're also wanting to remove any excess. Also, those edges, as you're as you're looking, that you might have had color loss, you might actually want to go back because this one right here didn't get it quite as much coverage as I wanted it to. So right here, again, pull a little bit extra on there. Now check the other corners too. Always when you are done polishing a bag, if you're going to put it with your other bags, I recommend putting it in a dust bag, not just for the preservation of it, but also because, again, if there is any excess polish on there, you don't want it on your wardrobe. And you don't want to forget about it either, because if you're putting it back in the closet for a different season or something like that, um, you're going to want to not forget that you just polished it. So again, with the straps, just wrap the whole cloth around it and run it through your fingers. And do that a few times, because again, this is gonna be where you definitely don't want any excess polish to be hiding. And if you do have a bag that has um, stitching that's really deep or really thick, you can uh, pay special attention to that or again, decide if you don't wanna polish the strap. Definite tip, when you have silver tone or whatever um, hardware that is not obviously something you want to polish on, go around it with your cloth afterwards. Make sure you don't have any on that because that's a uh, that's total dead giveaway that you just polished your back. So we've got the good shine on there. We've got it polished up so that a lot of the scratches and any color loss and things just aren't showing as much as they were. Um, I also like to preserve the leather and condition it as well, and I use mink oil for that. Again, it's the same as the polish. Take a soft cloth. I am using a separate cloth because I don't want to get black polish and a nice um, mink oil. And then just kind of smush it on and spread it out and around because it's going to leave it a greasy feeling, which means that the leather is going to be conditioned, it's going to be less likely to crack and have problems in the future, but also um, it's going to make it a little waterproof too. So you want a little bit of that grease just to, pr pr uh, to repel the water. But again, you don't want there to be a lot because you don't want it on your clothes and you don't want it. Um, you want, don't want your bag to feel greasy, not too greasy. Getting all the corners especially because that is where more of the cracking is going to be likely to take place and also why the leather just needs that extra, extra TLC. Alright, so we've got all that worked in pretty well. Um, I would generally take the time with leather straps to, to put a little bit of this on here and I'm going to because that's got quite a bit of black polish in it now. I'm going to again change that out and just run it along because I mean, everybody's had bags where the straps break because the leather wasn't really properly taken care of. This is a great way to ensure that your bag's going to have the longevity that you want it to. But again, you don't want grease spots on your clothing. So after it's well worked in, wipe it off. So now that that's all applied, again, fold my thing and you can see it's kind of got less of a sheen to it and just more of kind of a little bit of a greasiness. Like you can really see like fingerprints on there. You don't want that. So go ahead and give it a polish again. So here we have our finished product at this point, a Monsac original with a clean interior, 
and a clean polished exterior Hello. without polish on the hardware. 